Today is the 26th of August. This video will be going over that of five investment stages, and I'm by no means a financial advisor. And the stages I talk about are somewhat basic and to the point for that of buying and selling into any particular investment class and buying and selling of that of portions. Buying 2% of your portfolio or adding 2% here or selling out of 1.5% of your position but not selling out of all of it or even a quarter or half of it. That will not be discussed within this. Therefore, let's go over the stages and they are. One, heavy accumulation. Accumulation, neutrality, distribution, followed by heavy distribution. Now, the name's heavy. That's, it means that you're heavy as in you, you really want to focus towards accumulation, nothing towards distribution. Same thing in here because most likely you're starting an investment class, you have nothing. And before you even consider this, why are you getting into this? You must, you must have already done research on your investment class to know it's got amazing upside potential to realize that it's coming close to a possible bottom. It's showing signs of lifting off from the bottom with major upside, those sort of deals. And therefore, when you're buying, you don't care much about price action. You're just buying and buying and buying. Obviously, you want to buy when it's cheap. But if it's at, and if it's at areas where you might have buy signals, you buy anyway only because you need to build up the core position. When you move to stage two, you've already accumulated a decent amount. And now what you might want to consider is not to buy at sell signals. Areas where resistance has a good chance where it could sell off a decent amount, you don't want to buy there. And you might want to start thinking about selling very small portions at decent sell signals. And as you move closer to neutrality, you have to be selling some because once you get to a point where you've accumulated a large amount and, and or you start to notice that the market is nearing a top, the run is almost over, you want to start keeping your scaling for your position. For example, this could be your overall position and, and that's your overall position. Now you might want to just keep it so it goes sideways for so long, or not really sideways, but in a rangy uptrend, because if you're able to find the tops and bottoms, you can do this without even losing any capital. You sell 20 units, you buy 20 units. You sell 20, you buy 20, that type of stuff there. If you call the market right, your, the trend would look something like that. And thus, you would just slowly be increasing your holdings. Now, within the distribution stage, this means when you reach sell signals, you're really selling a little more aggressive than you normally would. And when you reach decent buy signals, you're still going to take advantage of them. If you see an area where, oh my, it's got a bottom here. We know we're going here. I'm going to buy. And then boom, you, oh, I was right. But there we are. Okay, maybe I'll sell a little bit now. Stuff like that. And when you move to heavy distribution, that means you really want to get out. Same thing in here. If there's a buy signal, maybe you still sell anyway, just because you think you know it's over anyway. Stuff like that. So now let's move to the charts and associate this within the current silver chart. The best way for me to do this is to really go over the best way I've seen it myself. And that is, as this area was coming into play, I was really finding it, yep, it's, it's over as far as the fiat currency system is concerned. I was wondering... And here, if we even had a gold standard, and not only here in Canada, but the United States as well. And then I found out we didn't. And it was like, wow, I, I thought we did actually. Well, I, I didn't know what it was, but nobody else seemed to anyway. And for that matter, not many people still do. But I found out, okay, it looks like silver's a good long-term play. As I was saying before, you want to do it when you either see it A, come off of its bottom, or as it's going lower. Well, Going lower, this was 1990 and on. As far as for buy signals, well, as long as we still stay below that 78, 
mathematically, it's still just coming off of its lows right now, which is definitely cur currently the case. And I knew that here it was a great play. Now, I only started with a couple silver maples to start. It was $25 each, and the Canadian price at the time was 21 And then as I'm starting heavy accumulation, like that doesn't mean I'm buying heavy amounts, although they definitely start to scale bigger with one purchase breaking in this top. And uh, I thought it was going to break out here. It didn't. Uh, I got again right down in here and then again in here. And for some reason, I completely missed out on most of this and got back in here and here and well, until up to 25, really, it was just constant heavy accumulation in this area here. Now, 25 was a different story. I was able to buy at very cheap prices because if you're in an area with something like silver and you have a spot price like this and the free market says something different, and that's an example where say it's 25 and you have people offering you silver eagles for 26 or generics for spot, it's kind of hard to say no. So you want to look at it in many different ways. But as we move forward, my stage of heavy accumulation got switched to accumulation right in here because I'm thinking, okay, maybe I'll sell what was about a percent, one percent, which was rebought back in here. So that was that was short lived. And then again, accumulation in here because it's breaking out of that previous resistance. Now up and towards here, there was no buying whatsoever on the breakout past 45, none. Why? Because it was at a, a selling peak. I didn't. I knew that doesn't mean. I know that doesn't mean it doesn't have to. But I also and I also know it's going to break this big time, or else I wouldn't be in the play. Or my research is totally off. But it does seem very likely it's got a long ways to go. Now, when the market came down here, this is a buying opportunity on many different levels. Heavy accumulation, everything's a buy. Accumulation, this is a buy. If you're neutral, this is a buy. If you're on distribution, this is a hold. You're not buying here on distribution because when you're in that situation and you want to buy, you're not going to take your first move. No. For example, if you're on distribution here, you're not buying here, but you may be buying back in here because you need a decent correction to buy. Or if you did buy in here, again in here, normally you would have bought, say, 1% of your stack. Now you buy one quarter percent or something of a lower nature. It just changes the way you're setting it yourself up within that type of uh, manner. Now, as far as buy signals and sell signals, where are they? How do you know what a buy and sell signal is? And the best way I use for this is Fibonacci. It works better than any other method. It's very simple to draw up. And uh, one measure of Fibonacci was, say, this level to this low. Now, the high was 21.35, and the low was $8.46. Therefore, one sell signal is when it comes up to the 61.8. So we can do the mathematics within it and then say to ourselves, what level do we sell at? Well, how about $15 an ounce? That seems like a good number. Where does 15 uh, scale out here? Somewhere in the area of, okay, let's make it a straight line instead. Somewhere in here, which meant that you sold somewhere in here if you were in either that of accumulation and later and it would have been very small at accumulation and you would have bought back in here if you were neutral you might have bought back in here again and there was no reason to be in a distributive stage for silver at this point as we can definitely see from here now the next one was again at this top how was the sale here and what i didn't like about that sale was the resistance was pretty much there, so I didn't give much, that credit too much credit for that. So it wasn't a surprise that it broke out. Now, 24 area was. 24 was a small sale signal. If you were in uh, neutral, maybe very small if you're just accumulating in here. And then you came up to 31. That was the Fibonacci mark on the breakout. This was the, the biggest one from here. 
and it was a little bit of resistance and myself that's when I added that one small sale figure right in here and since then we have seen the market continue to go higher so where is where are the next signals well for sale you got 50 but it's not as strong you did have a decent correction and you could very easily expect that it retraces 61.8 from here to here. It may not do that, but after that level, the next level is 75. That's the one I use. I'm going with the, within the Fibonacci upside scale, 75, I think 120 is after that. And thank you for tuning in and have yourself a great weekend. Bye-bye.